So it eliminates that one building, the cost of solar, it's at a fixed rate, and it's just less. I ask him for a glass of milk right now. Right? <laughs> No, but I am serious about the milk, so have you ever paid attention to it? I know she's on she, this. No, one. I don't. It's crazy because like this is what you guys actually use for power. Mm -hmm. And then the fuel charge, that's for them transferring the power to you. Hi there, it's Carlos with Real Sales Dynamics where we break down in-field sales footage to get you better at door knocking. After a short hiatus, your boy had to go get married. We have today Jackson. Jackson. A crowd favorite who was recently on with us on an episode where he competed with Hunter and won? Did he win? Yeah, he won. I think he won. He won. He's gonna give us tips and tricks on how he got jump started into the solar industry and how he quickly has gotten to the point where he's selling dozens of deals a month. But first and foremost, a lot of you guys out there like to just watch the episodes. We love you. You guys are phenomenal. But there's a way to ensure that you see every single thing that gets you to be better at this job. You click on that little subscribe button right below you. It helps us out a lot and it's gonna help you a lot to make significantly more money in the future. Now, without further ado, let's get to Jackson in the hood now. So guys, what we're gonna cover today is to figure out what you're doing wrong on the doors and go over six things that you can improve on to increase your effectiveness when you're out the doors and set more appointments. Number one, we're gonna teach you how to set actionable goals. Number two, we're gonna teach you how to genuinely care. Number three, we're gonna teach you how to generate curiosity when speaking to the prospect. Number four, repetition. We gotta repeat when we're on the doors. Number five, teaching you how to have conviction when you're on the doors. And number six, you gotta record yourself. We're gonna go over these six things for you guys and y'all are gonna learn. Hey guys, how you guys doing? Okay, so one thing I wanna talk about real quick, for the people that are first starting, for the people that have been doing this for a little bit of time as well, I wanna talk about the people that like to set goals. So, and the way to do this is you have to set actionable goals when you come out. It's very easy to come out here on a day and you wanna get off a couple presentations and you wanna set two to three appointments. That doesn't really give you anything to work towards. So what you need to do is you need to say, hey, I'm gonna work from two to eight every single day. That's goal number one. Goal number two, I'm gonna knock 60 doors. If you do those two things, you will see the results. You are gonna set the appointments. That's focusing on the things that you can actually control. You can't control how many interactions you're gonna have. You can't control how many appointments you're gonna set. Focus on the two things you can control. That's what's gonna to lead to the results. Hopefully you guys see it out there. Hi. Hi, just, uh, is, this the, is this the uh, Snyder residence? Forgot to put on sunscreen today. Tip number two. Fly sunscreen. How you doing? Hi, can I help you guys? Yeah. Um, the reason that we're stopping by, I'm not sure if you're paying attention, it pertains to you. Um, there was a notice sent out. It was by Tico. It's on the back side of your bill in regards to net metering. Do you recall seeing anything about that last month? Not really, no. No worries. Most most people don't. That's okay. This is like the actual, the only thing that pertains to you. You probably saw it in the news. Oh. So basically, because all the people that have moved to this area, yeah. uh, Tico's pulling about 80% of our power now from Georgia. Since it costs money to transfer energy, everyone's rates went up. Oh, okay. And it went up in April, it also went up in January for you guys. Right. Have, have y'all noticed the rate increases? Yeah. Yes, it's, I mean, it's summertime too, so everything's kind of going up on us. It's like the price of chicken, eggs, I mean, food's going up. So what's going on is, did y'all live in this house like three to four years ago, they came and switched everyone's meter out to the digital meter, it used to be analog. You guys remember that? I don't know if they, didn't, if they didn't tell you guys why they did that, but what they were doing was prepping your home for something called net metering. If the home's a good fit, you're able to do two main things. The first thing is you guys can lower your bill. About 30%, you're actually able to lock in your utility rate too. So you no longer have to pay for the rate increases when everyone else's bill goes up, it no longer affects you guys as well. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to it, but the state of Florida, they're in a renewable energy mandate. So what that means is they actually cover the cost for people to make the switch over to the solar. And then you have a lower fixed cost for your electric bill and you get a bill that looks like this. So you're able to eliminate the building. Like I said, the cost for solar is just significantly less. The biggest thing to understand is because you guys do have a little bit of shading, not every house is gonna be a good fit. So we basically get out a report to you guys. It shows you the two main things, the actual design, then all you know the important right. part. It shows you how much you'd save if you make the switch to solar last month. And basically we get out a report that looks like this. Okay. That's a good deal. He looks like I'll just replace the roof as well. Y'all yeah. uh, did the blue shingles, it matches it uh, very nicely. Right. Do you get your bills in paper or do you get them electronically? Paper. 
I'm done with everything. All I do is I come back and drop off a report for you guys to show okay. you all the savings. Right. But it's all based off of your usage. Remember, you do not have to come out of pocket for it if the home qualifies yeah. as the big thing. Yeah. And then you're able to lower the bill. Right. If we can't use the money that you're donating to Tico to fund the project for the solar, we wouldn't do it. Right. But I'm just, like I said, I get okay. you the info if you guys want it. Yeah. She was very nice. So, here's the thing. With that last interaction that I had, one thing I'd like to touch on with you guys is you actually have to record yourself. Whether you have someone else do it or you're just recording in your pocket, you gotta be able to hear how you sound with the customer, hear your interaction, and you gotta see yourself. Sometimes it's just one thing that can change, that you can make a change that's really gonna elevate you to the next level. The best athletes, the best teams, NFL, NBA, they're all watching the game footage of themselves, how they can improve, and their competitors. So make sure you train, but also make sure you record yourself and see how you can improve what you're doing wrong and how to get better. It's a small change to get big results, guys. A good identifier if a neighborhood is gonna be a better neighborhood or not is if you see five no soliciting signs on four doors, it's probably been hit a lot. So you probably wanna look into a new area. But remember, it doesn't matter, man. You get out there and they haven't spoken to you. They're seeing the highest bills they've ever seen. The program, it's never made more sense than it does now. We're here to help these people no matter what. Okay, another tidbit for you guys. When you come out here, you have to express to these people when you're having interactions with them that you genuinely care. They have to feel it in your voice. And you can't hide it. People are very good at sniffing out intention, just like you are, just like we are when you have interactions with people. So when you come out, actually care about what's going on in their lives. Actually listen to them when you're talking to them. They'll feel that. When you actually listen to them, they're gonna listen to you. When it's time for you to ask the bill and tell them all the information, they're gonna actually listen. You're gonna get the information you need, you're gonna set more appointments, and you're gonna get more deals, guys. Come on, let's go, guys. Howdy. Hi. How you doing? I'm Ample, how are you both? Ample, what is Ample? It's good enough. There we go, I like that. I'm gonna start using that now. <laughs> Resident. That's me. Good deal. My name is Jackson, this is Mr. Garrett. The reason for I... me stopping by today, I'm not sure if you're paying attention to it, Tico, they sent out a notice, it was on the back side of your bill, is in regards to net metering. Uh -huh. Do you recall seeing that? Yeah. Got you. That's really not the most important thing. This is the really the thing that pertains to you. Uh -huh. You probably saw it in the news. Yep. But essentially, because all the people that have moved to Tampa, Tico's pulling now about 80% of our power now from Georgia. They've got approved for two rate increases this year. The one in April and the one in January as well. You've seen these? Uh, I remember one of them, I remember both. Yes, sir. Yeah, so about 20% this year. It also went up last year. So yeah, no worries. So essentially, it was like two to three years ago. In, the, in your house, they came and switched out your meter to that digital meter. Uh -huh. Do you recall when they did that? It's been some years, yeah. Yes, sir. I'm not sure if they told you why they did it, but what they were doing is they were prepping your house for something called net metering. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if your home's a good fit for it, you can do two main things. The first thing being you can lower your overall electric cost about 30%. The other thing being you can actually fix in your utility rate so you no longer have to pay for the rate increases. And what happens is you end up getting a bill from Tico that looks like this, mm -hmm. where it's negative or zero. Right. So it eliminates that one bill and then the cost for solar, it's at a fixed rate and it's just less. Basically what we do is we actually just get out a report to you, shows you the two main things. One, an actual design where the engineer replaced everything. Mm -hmm. And number two, it shows you how much you'd save if you already had solar last month. Okay. And it just drops off all the information for you to see if it's a good fit. But the one thing is, your house specifically, I know you have a little bit of shading in the back here, but it's not too terrible. The biggest thing they look at is like how, how much, much sun. sun you get. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the one thing. The other thing is I have to check your meter, which I assume would be garage side. Yes. Got you. Do I have your permission to check that? Sure, it should be right there. Um, do you know if you have access to pull up this real quick? It'll take me about 45 seconds to check out the meter. I'll ask her if we, she's got one. Okay. For you. Do you um do you have a bottle of water? Yeah, I was just going to offer. I got yeah, uh, one for him as well. That'd yeah. Be, that would be just I can't get past it, sir. You should uh, ask him for a glass of milk right now. Right. <laughs> no, but I am serious about the milk. So we're out here checking the meter. Why we're doing this? You guys already know this. Give the people a space, a break, to go look for the bill. So I'm like, hey, you just said it too. Why you do that? I'll go do this. Gives people time so you're not sitting, breathing down their neck while you're sitting at the door, you know, while they're going to look for their bill. Gives you a little bit of space. I'll go do my job. You go do yours. I'll be back here in 32.5 seconds. All Perfect. right. I appreciate you. Yeah, excuse me just a second. No, no problem. Have you ever paid attention to anything? I know she's on this. No, I don't. It's crazy because like this is what you guys actually use for power. Mm -hmm. And then the fuel charge, that's for them transferring the power to you. That's a big majority of your bill. I mean, almost sure. half of your bill. So it'd be like ordering a pizza from Pizza Hut for ten dollars, and then paying fifty dollars to get it delivered. It's like it doesn't make sense. Yeah. But they look at this here. So let me take a screenshot of that. But yeah. So every time you know you make that payment to them of say the two hundred dollars, 
you don't get a return on it. So right. you get equity in the company. It's like you're renting. Just like you own this house here, you've paid money towards it. You've right. added equity to your name. Right. Now we can do that with power just like you own your vehicle. Okay. okay. Um, so, so we'll shoot for uh, five then. Okay. Perfect. I'll See you guys by. then. Yes, sir. Sounds good. All right. Nice Great and sweet. Thank, Thank you so much for the, uh, appreciate the, uh, the fire rates. Oh, yeah. yeah. Much. Really appreciate Better it. Better than water, man. Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Yes, sir. I mean, that's A to Z, man. That's as, that's as typical as you want it to be. Okay guys, three things I wanna talk about real quick that just happened with that interaction. Number one, repetition. Number two, being genuine. Number three, building curiosity. So first thing, repetition. You have to say things multiple times for them to understand. They're, you have to break their preoccupation at first, but then they're gonna be thinking about what's going on outside. So be very clear about why you're here. Tell them multiple times about the benefits. You know, it's zero out of pocket, it's zero down. Say it multiple times with them. Number two, being genuine. I took a genuine interest in what was going on with him. He opened up the door, he could feel that I'm genuinely interested in what's going on. We talked about his work as well. It's a great thing. We built a little bit of report. It's gonna make that appointment more sticky. Number three, building curiosity. If you're not building curiosity at the doors, you're gonna get more people to tell them, tell you you're not interested. Paint a picture, build some curiosity, tell them what's going on and why everything's a problem, then give them the solution, tell them why you're there, what you're gonna do for them. You're gonna give them the report, you're gonna show them the savings, show them the design, and show them the solution, guys. So those are the three things. Hopefully it's something that helped you out. Oh, hi. Hi. Sorry to bother you. Deco, they sent on a notice. Is on the back side of your bill is about net metering. Do you recall seeing that? At all? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not in this thing. Really. No, that's okay. Totally. Um, the other thing too is okay. y'all's uh, y'all's roof here. Are you guys about to get a new roof? Oh, the new roof, yes. Um, cool, because so many people have moved to Tampa. Mm -hmm. They're pulling power from Georgia. It costs money to move energy, so everyone's bills went up. Mm -hmm. It went up in April as well as January this year. Have you guys noticed your uh, your electric bill starting to creep up on you? Yes, I know these. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, most people just goes right over their head, you yeah. know? So basically it shows you report uh, two things. One, an actual design, and then two, all the important part, you know, how much you could save. If you made the switch, it's basically a report that shows you something like this. This is every month. Each month is yes. the same. Fixed, it's exactly. Same. So you can, uh, you know how much it's going to be. You know, instead of it being up high and down low, it's, it's fixed. That's how it works. And then, like I said, you do not come out of pocket. It's zero out of pocket. Mm -hmm. We take care of all the fees, all the permitting fees, everything to get the panels up. The big thing is for you guys is y'all have to get the new roof first, but all I do is, like I said, I get you guys the report. It's uh, it's all based off of your usage. Have you ever seen um, this bar graph that's on your bill? You remember seeing this at all? Mm -hmm. And I just have to check your meter. Is your meter on this side or is it on this side? For the... The, the digital meter? Digital it should be on the... Uh, in this, in it's this on this side. side. Okay, I'll go yeah. check it, I'll be right back. I'll set it for someone that speaks Spanish, you know. They don't want that language barrier to be there. Yeah. They're already trying to save money. Too, they're doing the oh, nice. The program, so. Oh, wow. 400. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. So go on. <laughs> click this right here. I'll yeah. Click, click the link right there. That'll pull it up. My phone number. Uh -huh. 315. 315. Okay, guys. So two things with that interaction real quick. Uh, first thing was I had a lot of conviction. I had a lot of belief that I was going to help her, that I know I need to help her because there's a problem. She knows the problem. Number two, repetition. Because of the language barrier, I had to be very clear with what's going on. I had to repeat things multiple times with her for her to understand. And between the repetition, between the conviction, she knew that I was going to be able to help her and she could feel it. So we're going to get the right person with her and hopefully we can help her out. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video. My name is Jackson. Hopefully you guys found some value with this content. Carlos, go ahead and roll the outro. And you'll stay on the doors out there, all right? And that about wraps it up. For those of you who are trying to get out of the daily grind and jump into the door knocking space or just not working for the right offices, we're hiring in Tampa, Orlando, Miami, San Diego, LA, Arizona, Texas, all over this great country. So make sure to click the little submission link that's below this video. More importantly, click one of these two videos. YouTube thinks you're gonna like it a lot.